Hey guys, Joe here. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you the amount of calls that we're generating for just one of our customers that order from us. So if you are in the Philadelphia area and you're struggling to get leads, then we may be the company for you. So what I do is I look at how we can help our customers as much as we possibly can. Of course, we're going to have great customer service. Of course, we are going to actually send your quotes back, uh, you know, back to you right away. Of course, we're going to have materials in stock. Of course, we are going to have a super quick lead times because you need to get the jobs in and out. Uh, we're going to also make sure that, you know, when you come up to pick up an order that it's actually ready and we get you loaded up within just minutes instead of waiting, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes or, you know, even longer. Um, we're also going to make sure that if there's any kind of mistake that we're going to actually take care of it. And, you know, if that happens, then we typically drop what we're doing and we actually run it out to you because you, you know, we screwed up. You shouldn't have to come and, you know, fix the mistake for us, you know. So but the other thing is that we make sure that, again, we help you guys as much as we possibly can when it comes to, you know, getting more leads, booking more jobs and, you know, just running a profitable business that isn't running you into the ground. So this is just one of the companies um, they had signed a contract with us that basically they will you know, order whatever they sell, you know, material wise, if we sell it, then they would order from us. You know, if they're ordering something that, you know, we don't sell, then obviously they don't have to buy it from us. Right. And with that, we just do as much as we can for them. So and for free, because I just look at it like if I can help you grow your business, get more leads, sell more jobs, well, then we just benefit. The only issue is I've done this in the past. And then we've had companies that the one I think honestly was a spy. Uh, could be wrong. I don't know. And we were doing all this kind of stuff, generating all the leads and everything else. And then they decided to go back to their um, previous supplier. Again, I think there was something going on with that, but whatever. So anyway, now we have people sign a contract. And uh, again, it's free. It's just, you know, once you say, hey, we're going to order from you exclusively, then at that point, I'll do everything that I can. And so here's some of the results. So for this particular company, let me shrink myself down or actually get rid of me because no one cares. Uh, so what you can see here, these are just from lawn signs. So the first when we first started, got, um, got started with this was July 25th. OK. And again, these are just lawn signs, which is pretty crazy. And I did go through because there was way more calls than this. Spoiler alert, there were 61 phone calls. These are unique phone calls. These are not like, you know, if someone called like five and six times, it's only one for each one. Now, I didn't want to, I end up deleting the phone numbers because I didn't want, you know, people to end up calling these customers because people, I, seen i've seen some crazy stuff and so anyway i went through and deleted all the uh, duplicates things like that and this is what's left and again so from july 25th to november 17th so what's that like i don't know five weeks something like that and i'm sorry not five weeks uh, about almost two months just say seven weeks something like that so anyway there's a total of, well, because of that, 60. So I don't know about you, but if you had 60 extra calls in the last seven weeks, you know, if you had an extra eight calls a week, how would your business look? And because at this point, hopefully this comes up. So at this point, you know, a lot of people are struggling. Now this person ended up coming in and I'm asking, you know, how's everything going and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, my phone won't stop ringing. So typically he's getting about two to three calls a day uh, right now, whereas a lot of people are struggling. So there's other stuff that uh, we're working on as well, helping the Google My Business listing and the website and stuff like that. And uh, it's kind of crazy what's going to happen um, when everything kind of comes aligned. Um, now, getting the leads is just one of the parts, right? So, and I talked about that where the issue is it's not just the amount of leads, right? But it's also putting the systems in place and everything else. Because, you know, if you're doing just say 300 grand a year in revenue, and my goal is to get you to a million dollars a year, and just say we triple your business, right? We get triple the amount of leads coming in and everything else, which sounds really great. But if you're only used to $300,000 a year in revenue, and to go to a million dollars without having the systems in place and not having the structure and someone to show you exactly what needs to happen, the whole thing falls apart. 
The reason why I know is because I've been through this personally. So if you don't know my story, I used to own a fence uh, installation company. We had since sold that because we didn't want to be a competitor to our customers. And so, you know, I took a business that, you know, I started a fence company without any kind of fence experience. And we took that from, you know, zero to, you know, over $2 million a year in revenue. So we've been through multiple, like, you know, there's these hurdles that you kind of go through, right? And so anyway, I just wanted to show you this. And so what we're doing now, and it's not completely done, it's always going to be like a work in progress, is that now we're trying to put all the systems in place. So like what needs to happen, you know, from the time you, you know, get the lead to come in from and then all the way to like when you book the job you know what is the process looks like that the other thing that we're putting in is a lot of automation so that way you know the one of the thing we talked about today is like lead follow-ups right so there's a lot of companies like if you're on jobber for example i think the plan he's on is like 175 a month well just to get automatic follow-ups that goes to like 300 and some dollars per month so like 125 or 150 dollars a month just for lead follow-ups and like pictures on quotes so if you are part and using jobber what we can do is combine the system that i have which takes care of the communication and fills the gaps that jobber has and and again, I know Jobber just because I used it for my own fence company. As far as the way it works and everything else for, you know, quoting and scheduling, it's awesome. Everything else is a mess, you know, for um, email marketing, which they just started, but there's not a lot of customization that you can do with that to follow ups and stuff. There's just really not much. There's also no pipeline. So there's no sales pipeline. There's no production pipeline. Why does it matter? Well, if you don't have those in place, you don't really know what's going on. Because again, you know, what you're doing now may work, but if your business doubles, triples, or more, things are going to start falling apart. Also, if you have someone that helps out and you're trying to use pen and paper and things like that, well, what happens if they're on vacation? What happens if they're sick? Whatever. How do you guys communicate? Are you constantly texting back and forth? And where is with the system that we have, it just you look at it and you know exactly what's going on. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, again, this is just one thing. Um, and again, you know, what would you do with an extra 60 phone calls? Because then you can go into something. Sorry, I'm like, my camera's like here and I'm looking over here. Actually, you know what? I could probably do. Actually, I can't do that. So just to look at some random numbers in case you care, right? So you had 60 additional phone calls, right? And again, that was in about seven weeks. So we had about um, eight calls per extra per week, right? So in this case, just say your closing rate is just say you close at 20%, right? So one out of five, Ooh, I'm in the wrong column. So in this case, if you close at about 20% times 0.2, that means you would add an extra 12 jobs. Now, or in this case, he had an extra 12 jobs. Now, what kind of profit are you making per job? So let's say, everyone charges differently, but let's just say the average job is you make a thousand bucks. It should be honestly more than that. Like you're probably average, like at least for ours, like when we had the installation company, the average profit was probably around 2,200. But in this case, I'm just going to like conservatively go to 1200, you know, actually we'll do a few things. So number one, just say you have a thousand dollars in profit, $1,500 in profit, and just say average $2,000 profit, right? So equals that times that so you could have twelve thousand dollars in additional profit could be eighteen thousand dollars in additional profit or even twenty four thousand i don't know why i can do math in my head but anyway so what would you personally do in the last seven weeks and again you know let's divide that by seven equals this divide it by seven okay we scroll over so what would you do or how would your business be Sorry, I'm looking to see if my son's uh, coming. Is in the last seven weeks, because it's been really slow for everyone, what happens if you had an extra $1,700 in profit, not revenue, profit? How, what would that mean for your business? What would happen if you had $2,500 additional every single week or even $3,400? Now, the question you got to ask yourself is well, and again, this is one thing. The other thing, like, the amount of leads and everything else we're generating is just ridiculous, obviously, just from this alone.
but this goes further. This is just them booking jobs like this is compounding. So if you're not familiar with compounding interest, you know, I think Warren Buffett says it's like the eighth wonder of the world is these are from jobs that they booked, which then they're booking more jobs from the jobs they booked. Now, if you looked at and I don't know exact numbers, but, you know, from the little jobs that you're currently booking now or whatever you're booking, what happens like at this point? Do you give out loan signs to every single customer? And if not, why? Well, if you are like me running a business, when if you're answering the phone calls, the emails, answering, uh, going out to the estimates, doing the, you know, and sending the quotes and, you know, calling 811 and actually doing the install if you're still doing that, do you have time to order lawn signs? Or if you've ordered lawn signs, do you have time to make sure that you actually have them in stock? Do you have time to make sure you actually put them out at every single job? The chances are probably not. So the way we do it is every time if you come in and pick up an order, then we give you a lawn sign. That's number one. If we deliver an order for you, we actually have the driver put the lawn sign out for you. Why? Well, because we want you to book more jobs. It's literally that simple. You know, we are a newer fence supply company. We've only been, you know, this is our second full year. So we're, you know, we're new to this game. The thing that's different with us is that because we own a fence installation company that we have since sold so that we are, we are not competing with you because that is that honestly drives me insane. There's this one fence supplier up north in particular that their Facebook ads are awesome. The problem is they like driving down their price like it's nobody's business, but they supply to other contractors as well. And I'm like, how does this even work? Like how like. It drives me insane. We have other suppliers in the, you know, in the surrounding area that they have since, um, let's say, sold, but not really sold, and you know, give it to a family member. So either way, you know, it's the supplier and then you know the family member that has the installation company. So one way or another, you're competing with that, you know, that family. Just put it out there. Uh, then there's another supplier that has like a shadow, um, you know, installation company that no one's supposed to know about. So what do you do at that point? So anyway, look at this kind of stuff. Uh, if you need help, if you are tired of having a supplier, that's a mess. If you're tired of having a supplier, that's not helping you out. If you're tired of a supplier that used to be awesome, but now they're falling apart for like whatever reason, then try us out. You know, um, I'm not going to say we're perfect, but I, I honestly would put us up against any other supplier in the area. I don't think anyone is, you know, price wise, we're going to uh, be competitive with everyone. Um, as far as lead times, super low. We're very fast. And the reason for that is like our predominantly our main customer are these smaller contractors, you know, the ones that haven't been in business forever. They have the smaller dollar, you know, they're not ordering as much as everyone else. And like a lot of times they're kind of like pushed aside by the bigger suppliers because it's not worth their time. So honestly, I don't even know where I left off because my son just got, um, you know, back from school. And but Again, if you're looking for a supplier that I think we're pretty damn amazing, check us out. We do have food every single Friday. Um, it's Contractor and Crew Appreciation Day. So we have breakfast and lunch every single Friday. The reason why we do that is because we appreciate you guys. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know and uh, talk to you then. Bye.